Good afternoon, Morwen here. I'm still here at the ACE conference. We've just come to the end of day one, uh, which has been a really great uh, list of discussions. We've had presenters. We've just finished with a panel presentation uh, with four presenters. I have two of them with me here now. We've got Professor Janine Baxter uh, and we've got Dr. John Hewson, AM, who uh, have thankfully uh, agreed to just answer a couple of questions even though they have just come straight off stage. Um, so I'm just going to turn to them now and firstly just say thank you very much for being part of what was the final panel discussion of day one. It was really great. I felt in the room there was a lot of energy people really engaged in the in the conversation. Um, Janine, I wanted to ask you first of all, if you felt there were any key insights um, from that discussion that you took away with? I thought it was a really fun panel. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's a, a new insight, but one of the things that I've taken away from it is just how difficult it is to implement good evidence-based policy in the current political cycle. Um, I think that we might actually know what needs to be done. There was a lot of agreement amongst the panel, even though we might come from different political traditions and backgrounds. I think we were all agreeing, um, and the audience seemed to be agreeing with um, some of what we were saying. So I think that the challenge is, given that we know what needs to be done to help families, um, but why hasn't it happened? And I think it comes down to politics, and that's a really challenging um, issue to get around. Yes, it did um, seem as much as there was some diverse discussion on the stage, there did also seem to be a lot of head nodding and people in agreement with each other, which is good to see, but adds John to that said challenge. I agree with. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And John, I'll turn to you now and ask, in context of that, um, do you feel that there are real opportunities to apply some of those insights? Or? What I'd like to see, I guess, is that the parliament in some form, maybe through parliamentary committee, have some form of inquiry, which is a stock take point of view of families. Let's just go through all, okay, have a debate about what is a family today and how it's changed and the, the pressures and so on that are on families. Then go through each of the areas of public policy that impact on families and see what those impacts are. You know, and it can be the tax system or the industrial relations system, education, health, aged care, whatever, you know, all those elements. And I don't think anybody steps back and does that sort of assessment. If you do the stock take, work out where you are, then I think you can see a path forward. This is the sort of thing we've agreed. I have to agree with that, and I think that's critically important at the moment because one of the points that I made is that families are very different now than they were in the past. Um, there's a lot of diversity in family types, so you know when we talk about the family, we're not just talking about one type, um, and I think that diversity will grow. So I think we need that stock take more than ever, and we need to do it around particular family types in particular contexts and particular regions. So it's a really critical. Um, and I, I think a lot of public policy, a lot of our institutions at the moment are organised around what we think the family was in the 50s, 60s, uh, the, you know, the biological children living with heterosexual parents. And we know, um, and we've known for a long time, that that's not the dominant family type. So we do need to, to take stock and across different family types in different regions. And I think moving forward, if, if cabinet ministers were required to sort of address the family impact of what their policy changes that they're proposing would be, I think would make a big difference, at least to get them to think about it. So I think a lot of public policy is made without anybody thinking about the particular consequences for families. Absolutely. It runs that risk of falling under the radar and not right. being taken into account. Thank you very much okay. both for your time, no for problem. taking that time, having come directly from that presentation. Um, I'm going to say now uh, that's it for day one at the conference. We'll be back tomorrow, so look out for some more insights. The link to the recorded presentation that we just had of this panel discussion is going to be on our website, so look out for that too when we uh, upload it. Thank you very much.